I have to admit, it's nice sometimes just spacing out. Everyone could use a break here and there. I did not foresee. Someone must have been influencing Mila, possibly controlling her. Did the four share with her the truth? Impossible. They would never disobey my command. you stray from the path. I know not what to make of this. Jude seems a little different now. I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, maybe he's grown a little tougher? Young men can mature dramatically in very short periods of time. Jude seems to have found the resolve to confront the harsh truths of the world. Women grow up too, you know. We have no choice but to. Yes. So you can grow big bazongas like Mila. That's... that's not the sort of growing up we mean. <laughs> I shall do whatever I must to see you all safely into adulthood. Just you and Jude for a while, huh? Pretty much. Did you cook for him? Yeah, sure. And anything else? L like what? Elise, if you have something you want to say, come say it to me straight. You're the one who needs to be telling it straight. Nothing happened, okay? Nothing at all. Uh. Boring. That's too bad. You'll get him next time. Damn it, Elise. I can't believe you had Tebow bad caught me like that. Surprising. Olympian soldiers are popping up in cities across Riza Maxia. Because Gillen's gone now? That's part of it, no doubt. But on top of that. Stay back, you hear me? So will make me hurt you! He's terrified. It's Muse, isn't it? She's been swatting him like flies. Stop! Freeze! All of you! 
So you survived after all. Gaius! Throw him in a cell. These people are with me. Stop it! Let me go! Come quietly, or else... All of Olympias will die at this rate! What do we do to deserve this? Gillen said the same thing. Wow, Gaius, when did you start ordering around Rashigal troops? Everyone in Rashigal succumbed to terror and panic after Noctigal's death. I led them from the chaos. Wow, that's some trick! What exactly are you doing here in Fenmont? We are working with the Rashigal military to salvage the Lance of Kresnik from the bottom of the ocean. Why? What do you want with the Lance now? Exodus may be gone, but it's unlikely they've abandoned their Otherworld reactor plan. I will put a stop to it. And you? What of your plans? We want to talk with Muse. Why come find me? We heard you've been fighting her, so we figured you might know something. Your Highness, we're ready to set sail. Good. Come to the Sea Haven. How come? Come with me, and you may get your chance to see Muse. We should join him. Okay. I wonder what school's like. I bet you want to go to school too, huh? Don't worry. As soon as we find a nice, safe place for you to live, you can start going. I don't want to go. Oh? May I ask why? Because if I bring Chipo to school, won't they get mad at me? You needn't worry about that. I'll ask them to let Tipo go too. I can go too? Sure. Leia used to take dogs and cats to school with her. Then I do want to go. Why didn't you tell us sooner? I hope we'll be able to send Elise to school soon. Indeed. And I'd like to see you continue your education as well. Mark my words, Jude. One of these days, life will return to normal. Yeah, I guess it will. I can't believe how cool Gaius is. He's got soldiers from both Azul and Rashigal heeding his every word. That is pretty impressive. But Leia, you need to watch your tone around him. You're way too casual. I was legitimately afraid for your life. <laughs> Oops. I guess my excitement got the better of me. You think Gaius was pissed? Who knows? He never shows any emotion. A man in charge of two nations probably doesn't care about such trifles. Probably. Yeah, I thought so. It's no biggie. But try not to get carried away next time, okay? Indeed. Push a man like that too far, and you'll be dead before you see the sword leave his sheath. Yeah, next time I'll keep a lid on it. <sighs> What's up? Coming back to Fenmont like this makes me miss my old medical school. Then why not drop by? You don't mind? Nah. You must have really loved it there if you miss it this much. I guess becoming a doctor really is your calling. Are we really gonna see Muse? She's scary, but if we all stay together, we'll be okay. When I see the lights in Fenmont, I can't help but miss how bright Lorand is. I know exactly what you mean. <sighs> Are you getting tired? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, things aren't the same as they used to be. Hey, Elise, can we borrow Tipo for a sec? Huh? Give Tipo a squeeze. You'll feel better. Oh, this does feel good. Just the right amount of resistance. I could do this all day. No, stop! I can't take any more! Ah, all the stress has drained through my fingers. I know, right? It's crazy addictive. Oh no, he's gonna get all stretched out. I feel so violated.
Mr. Eldon? Dr. Jude! Hey, good news! You're in the clear now. Between Gillen's betrayal and the Exodus situation, no one cares about your charges anymore. When everything calms down, they may want you to come in and answer some questions, but it won't be a big deal. But there are still wanted posters everywhere. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. We haven't had time to take them down yet. Well, that's still great news. Right, Jude? Yeah. I've been meaning to ask you, Doc. What happened to that tall guy who was with you before? Uh-uh. You know, the one who knocked me down on the pier. You mean Alvin? He's... well... Ah, I knew that had to be Alvin. You know him? Not personally, but my wife and I used to be close to the woman he lived with. Her name was Mink. Mink? Uh, she's a real beauty. She wears glasses and always carries a book around. You don't know her? Hmm? Do you mean Cressa? Uh, maybe. I'm sure Mink wasn't her real name. That's why I wanted to talk to Alvin, you see. To make sure he knew her real identity. What do you mean? We received some intel that said she was actually a spy. One of the rats. What's that? They're spies from one of the Ajul clans. Exactly. Mink made friends with a lot of Rashigal nobles and military officers and pumped them for secrets. If you see Alvin, could you tell him that? I think he has a right to know. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm late for my appointment. What should we do? I don't know. If it's something Pressa didn't want him to know, then I don't think we should tell him. I mean, if even Alvin couldn't figure it out, she must have really wanted that secret kept. That's true. Well, if you feel that strongly about it, I guess we can keep her secret. 